your peace signs in the air, because that's what we're doing. We need change in our community. We need change with these laws that they're, they're ripping our families apart right now. I can't love my, my sisters, love my brothers. You share the same blood, but just got different mothers. Two of my best friends, you know, are, are currently on the deportation list. And I have many more friends that, you know, friends through friends that I, I know, you know, throughout uh, growing up. And it's sad to know that these, these guys could just, you know, get picked up and get sent, sent back any day. We became aware after one of our community members, um, Lee Huff Call, was detained about two and a half weeks ago. Um, and that brought a lot of um, tension to the community because he is such a good force in the community. He's always out, you know, talking to youth about not making the same mistakes he did. He committed a serious crime when he was 19. He served 12 years and he's 36 now. And since he's been out, it's just been a real force in the community for positive change. So him being detained was a real wake up call and alerted everybody to the fact that actually eight people from the Cambodian community in Long Beach, California had been detained and seven people in Lowell, Massachusetts from the Cambodian community had been detained that same week. And so then we later we found out that um, up to 50 travel documents had been issued by the Cambodian government um, to detain and deport people around the United States. These are people that have been here that are that have been functioning on the underground and the underbelly of American society. They've been very much a part of our economy, contributing, and of course, so uh, they have families here. And one of the things that we forget about laws and public policy is that these are people that we're talking about. These are families that we're talking about. One of my closest friends, Lee Ho, is getting deported, and that he's been home for two and a half years at least, and he's changed his life around 180 degrees. He go to work, pay his taxes, take care of his mom, take care of his nieces and nephew, and he serves a second chance. That's why we all here to support him right now. I am Cambodian. I live in South Philly, and um, I'm here today to demand reform, immigration reform for those people that, you know, has done something wrong when they were younger, and then They've served their time in jail, and now they're out, and they've changed. And do you have any close personal um, experiences like tied with this? Is there any I do not. I do not. But I do know some people, and you know, it's just it's unjust.